Did I want to tell you how much time you had, Jessica? That I could die long before my name reaches the top of that list, right? Yes. It's a definite possibility. No. I don't think so. So there has to be a way to move Jesse's name up to the top of this list. I'm sorry, Clint, but it's not as if the other people on the list aren't in urgent need of transplant as well. There may be a way to expedite the process. See, when we talk about total liver transplant, we're talking about an organ from a cadaver. The liver is a very large organ. It's segmented and extremely regenerative. Now, a healthy person can function with part of the liver removed. So, what we can do is known as living donor transplant. So first of all, we find a match, and then this person gives Jesse a part of their liver, and both of them are fine? It's a definite possibility. Can I get tested? One of us has to be a match. I'll be first, because I'm the most likely I'm match. So sorry, but I can't allow that. The donor has to be in perfect health, which excludes you. OK, then test me. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm the next closest, and I'll call Kevin and Joey. I'll be on a plane right here. Well, that's not necessary. They can be tested in London. It doesn't have to be a relative, does it? I mean, if someone else can be a match, right? Absolutely. All right, so where do I sign up? Me too. OK, um, we'll head down to the lab, and I'll set up some appointments. All right. I think I'll get back soon, OK? I love you so much. We're gonna do this chest. We're gonna fix this, okay? Baby, you know, I'm also a really hard thing right now. But I also know that more than anyone in this entire planet, you can fight this. I'm the strongest person I know. She thinks I'm so strong. Do you want me? I'm not always the winner. No, of course you're not strong now. We just had some very difficult news, so you have to give yourself time. That's all. Time? What? To just go and think about what comes next. What my time's up? No, no. You have a very long and healthy life ahead of you, honey. I know that my heart and soul. I don't feel like it's a time anymore. Okay, I know that there are obviously a lot of things in life that we can't control. But at the same time, there are things we can do, and that's what we have to focus on, okay? What we can do. We're going to make sure you get the best treatment possible starting with a transplant, and it will happen. I know it will. And we're going to pray. I've been through this on the end. I know I'm confusing things, and I know it can be terrifying. And I'm coming every single step of the way. You are so precious to me.
Tina. Look, you're not going to help me. Not again. There's nothing more to say, friends. Of course there is. And we have to understand each other. So you see my point of view. Your point of view. What about mine? Fine. Okay, let's hear it. Even if Tate did have some horrible secret, he does. I don't believe you. But my point is, even if Tate were hiding something, that has nothing to do with you and me and our relationship. And the simple fact that I wanted you to drop it should have been reason enough for you to drop it. Just like the simple fact that I asked you to keep your distance from Tate should have been enough reason for you to keep your distance from Tate. That is totally different. How? You overreacted to everything he said and did. You made problems when they were none. Oh, I should have made more problems. Because Tate, evidently, he has turned out to be a bigger threat than I thought. No, I can't stand it. Neither can I. You know, I hate that you're angry with me. Why don't we go back to my place and talk about this? No. See, I want to, but... No, because it'll just start all over again and it'll start to rub my shoulders and... What? And you'll get me in bed and I'll forget why I'm so angry at you. What would be so wrong with that? I hope they work it out. No, I know. I know because I think they're meant to be together. Yes? Yes? <laughs> Just like you are meant to be with me and Daddy. It's none of the kind. Hey, now anything else? I'm glad this is sound too hopeful. Of course. Nobody's hopeful. Not even you. You don't even care if you find Todd because you don't like it. You hate it. That's not fair. Well, your heart sure isn't breaking because he's in trouble. God is a young man. He's a father. He has two children who love him and need him. And I do not take his disappearance lightly. And I resent you thinking that I do. I'm sorry. If there was anything else that I could do right now, I would do it. All I can do is have this tape enhanced and then forward a copy of it to the Chicago police. Chicago? They're not doing anything. You're talking about taking it lightly. That's what they're doing. And they're, they're... Come on, Bo. They're not doing anything, would appear, because they don't have anything to go on. Oh, fine. Whatever. I'll take matters into my own hands.